going on to uh, some important uh, relations which are also quite uh, tricky tricky in the sense that uh, they have some properties which are quite similar to other kinds of relations and you have to be very clear with what we are dealing with uh, so so has so as not to confuse it uh, with some other similar relations and uh, one of the first of that such such a relation is what what we call a reflexive relation which is a uh, uh which which for a particular given set a is uh, said to be reflexive if every element of that 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 particular given set is related to itself that is uh, the relation r is reflexive only and only if uh, the element uh, that's a uh that uh, the order pair formed by the element that is a a is an element of the relation r for all uh the element uh, a is an element is an element of the set a now uh, a a because we are dealing with the cartesian product of the set uh, with itself now what is the key point the key point is that uh, uh, and the and the relation is reflexive only if uh, in the ordered pairs you have the all the uh, ordered pairs of the element relating or comparing up with itself so uh that's a important point that is uh, uh a relation on a set a is uh, not reflexive if there exists an element a is an element of set a such that the uh, element pairing up with itself to form an ordered pair is not present so the key point is that for uh, in a reflexive relation actually all the ordered pairs uh, uh, which we find uh, suppose for a reflexive relation dealing with a set uh, a then all the ordered pairs which we can uh, uh, come up with dealing with an identity relation uh, on that particular set will be present plus uh, other ordered pairs are would also be present so that, that's the point now uh it may seem confusing but it's quite simple and uh, let us take an example uh to clear the confusion that is so uh, let's take a set uh, consisting of uh, elements uh, 7 8 and uh, we have created a uh, relation r1 which consists of uh, four ordered pairs that is 7 7 8 8 9 9 and 7 and we, we can see that uh, if if we if we don't uh, consider the the fourth order pair 7 8 then it's it's actually an identity relation uh, so uh, such a case is reflexive uh, because uh, we have all the ordered pairs uh, in which uh, all the elements of a are pairing up with itself but in the second case that uh, is in the second relation r2 you can see that uh 8 8 is not present uh, now 8 is an element of the set a but 8 uh, pairing up with itself to form an ordered pair is not present so it's not reflexive so this is so once again uh, the key point is that in a reflexive relation the identity part that is the element uh, uh, pairing up with itself to form the ordered pair is important uh, <coughs> along with uh, uh, other other combinations now uh it simply means that uh, it must be clear from the uh, discussion which we uh, just had that uh, identity relation is naturally uh, a reflexive relation but the other way around uh, uh, need not be true that is a reflexive relation need not be an identity relation because uh, in a reflexive re uh, relation uh, the identity part that is the element pairing up with itself is must but uh, it can also have uh other combinations or other other ordered pairs now also the inverse relation on a non void set uh, particular given set a is uh, is uh reflexive now we know that uh, uh universal relation is the uh, is a relation with which uh, which will consist of all all possible combinations of elements pairing up to form ordered pairs and when when that is with a uh cartesian product of the set itself naturally uh, we can see that the element is pairing up with itself so uh, it it ought to be uh, reflexive thank you